Hello and welcome to our home. Uh, I wanted to share um, a few stories actually. Fifteen years ago, my mother was dying and we, Barry and I and our three children, were taking care of her in the apartment that is right next door. And it was an amazing, amazing experience. And I want to just share a little bit about it because it was so inspiring. You wouldn't think that would be inspiring, but it, it was life-changing for all five of us. So I want to start um, when I was 26. We were living in California and my mother came from a, for a visit from Buffalo, New York. And she sat me down. We had a little cup of tea. And I remember this so clearly. I remember everything I was wearing, what the weather was like, where Barry was. And she said to me, when I die, I want you to be excited for me. I don't want you to be sad because I feel so strongly that our Creator has saved the best experience for the last. I looked at my mother, I'm like, where in the world did that come from? And I'm like, mother, I, all right, I can never be excited for you to die. That's, that's impossible. And she said, you're my daughter, and this is what I'm asking, and you'll find a way. So, um, anyway, I, I, I kind of forgot about it. I put it in the back of my mind, and it was, it was in that place where a lot of young people feel like their parents are never going to die. They're always going to be here. Um, anyway, my mother was, did, did get older. She and my father lived, moved right next door, and then and my father died quite quickly of a heart attack, and then, then there was my mom. And she heard her her dying process was very slow, and we took care of her. So I want to share a few stories that took place the three weeks before. We also had hospice, and that was amazing. But for the most part, it was the five of us taking care of her. Our son was only 18, so he did minimal, although he visited and was a source of tremendous joy. So a week before my mother died, I was going over to see her, and it sounded like all these visitors were there. I heard my mother laughing and saying, oh, it's so good to see you again. You look beautiful. How have you been? And, oh, oh, there you are. And I'm like, I looked around. There were no cars in the driveway. Like, what in the world's going on? And I opened, I opened the apartment, and there she was in her little hospital bed in the living room, talking away. And I couldn't see anybody. Like, Mom, what's, what's going on? Oh, look, isn't this so wonderful? My mom is here. My dad is here. And all seven of my sisters and brothers are here. And we're having just the best, best time. And I sat down and I realized something really important was happening. I just couldn't see it. So I listened so carefully. She was laughing and joking. Of course, hers was the only voice that I could hear. And then pretty soon she looked and she said, oh, Bill, what are you doing here? Why aren't you at home with, with your wife? And that was a mystery to me. We don't have a bill as a relative. I had no idea who my mother was talking about. And it was several um, months after she died that Bill's wife wrote to me and said her husband Bill had died. And he had died like the week before that experience where my mother was seeing all these all these beings. Yeah. I think I just I just thought that was so really so 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 special. So 
remember we were supposed to all be excited for her and we talked the family the five of us talked and it was decided that if you went and you couldn't be excited and you felt like just crying just leave and the and the other one would go and so that's what we did we kept rotating around and um it was mostly the two of us and we just got caught up in my mother's excitement about dying and two days before she she died she she woke up from a deep deep sleep and she said oh i'm just having the most wonderful time dying i want to have a party like and she said it's got to be right now so I called Barry, but I thought we need one other person. I, and I called a friend who lives very close, and she dropped everything, and she was there in 10 minutes. And the three of us um, had a party. We just sat around really close, and she was telling us what, how wonderful it all is. Now, what you need to know about my mom is that she was experiencing everything that we don't want to experience. She was helpless. Um, she was incontinent. She, all the things that we don't want. Pain. She was in a lot of, yeah. a lot, a lot of pain. Whenever we'd move her, it was just like mm. torture. So all that that we dread, like, oh gosh, death must be so horrible. She was experiencing all that, but it was like mm. a little inconvenience. That's all, that's all it was to her, because this dying experience and all that she was feeling was so amazing. There's so many more stories I'd like to share, but I want to just share her, her final words. Um, she, it, so it was two days after that little party, and she was, this is the last time that she was really conscious and she was she was reaching and she was saying little little things like i never knew it could be so beautiful i never knew there could be so much love and i see now that your love has been with me throughout my whole life. Isn't that beautiful? And that's really what dying, that's really what dying is. And I think, you know, we see, we see the pain, the suffering, the helplessness. But if a person is really conscious and focused on the real gift, they, they're seeing the light. They're seeing all the beauty. So, mm. I I I, re I think I'm going to have to do another video because there's some really other, really fabulous stories, but that that'll be enough for today. Mm. Do you want to show people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So okay. So I was so inspired by my mother's this whole process and and her, her dying experience, and the effect that it had on our, on our children. Um, let's see, 18 years old, and our daughter is 26, and the other da daughter, um, Rame, was 31, that, <laughs> excuse me, we wrote this um, book. Yeah. You hold it, A Mother's Final Gift, and it's just filled with very, very inspiring stories and each of our children also wrote on how their lives were changed through caring for my mother and of course Barry Barry wrote such a beautiful beautiful um, part about my mom and and your experience yeah <clears throat> I think we'll share more another time yeah um, how could we not be excited for Joyce's mom? I mean, she was just, she was so close in her dying, she was so close to the other realm, right? Uh, the other side of the veil, that she brought that energy 
with her, even though, like Joy said, she was suffering also. But it's just amazing, amazing to be witness. Um, if you have a chance to be with someone who's dying, like a, maybe a parent or a relative or a friend, just to be in that energy, it's actually similar to birth in a way. It's a closeness to the heaven world that's so special. I have to tell one more short story, a short one, okay? I, I have to. Um, so she died, it was August or September? The end of August. The end of August, right. And, um, and one time, um, you know, we were expecting her to die any day, actually. And we tiptoed really quietly up to the apartment, up the stairs, opened the door, and I peeked in, and I saw her lying on the bed, and she didn't look like she was breathing. And I turned to Joyce, and I said, this is probably it. She's probably passed. And we tiptoed very closely, very quietly, you know, holding this reverent feeling and, and stood really close to her. And she opened her eyes and yelled out, Merry Christmas! I almost died. My heart actually almost stopped. I was just so shocked. And she was so happy. And then she looked, isn't it Christmas? What's, wh why are all these lights? There's so many lights. She was just seeing all the lights. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Barry has a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful song. <laughs> all right. I, I, I haven't. I haven't shared this song, one of my early ones, in a, quite a long time. Why am I here? Can my dreams come true? Can I really share and be close to you? Why am I here? What gift can I give? Can my path be clear, guiding how I live?
So close your eyes a moment and just take a moment and feel why, why am I here? Why are you here? What gift can you give? Can your dreams come true? In the bottom line, you can love. You can love. I can love. We can love. Mm. All right. Thank you so much. And um, hey, this book, A Mother's Final Gift, if you haven't read it, it's such an inspiring book. You can get it on our website, sharedheart.org. Um, you can also get it on Amazon, but um, it's better if you go right to our website, okay? Sharedheart.org. And actually, if you don't like to read so much these days, you can actually on our website get it as an audio book and you can listen to it. It's the only one of our books that we actually recorded. Um, each of our parts, Joyce's part, my part, each of our kids reads their part and there's some songs from our son. So it's fun. It's a great book. <clears throat> so I want to leave you with those last words that my mother spoke and I want you to just take, take them in that I never knew it was so beautiful I never knew there was so much love and now I realize this love has been with me throughout my whole life that's the message. Take that in. That that beautiful, amazing love is with us always throughout our lives. Yeah. All right. Oh, well, thank mm. you. Yeah. Bless you, all of you.